All right, everyone. Uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to introduce to you Onshape, which is an online version of something very similar to SolidWorks. It's a parametric 3D solid modeling program. Um, all you have to do is go to onshape.com and uh, sign up with your school Gmail. And at this point, you'll receive um, a dashboard such as what you see here on your screen, except you're not going to have a variety of simple models here. Today we're going to kind of create the simple cut cube just like we did in SolidWorks. The only difference is you're going to be using Onshape and the purpose of this assignment is to introduce to you um, Onshape for the reasons of doing online distance learning. So we're going to go to create and we're going to hit document. At this time you're going to type in cut cube. Click OK. And you're going to find an interface very similar to SolidWorks. One of the differences is right click and drag will give you an orbit tool versus the mouse button uh, being pressed in with SolidWorks. And at this point we are going to click the extrude button. And at this point it's going to ask you um, in SolidWorks to create a sketch. Now we don't have a sketch already made so we're going to click X and at the point that's, that's one of the differences. So we're going to create a sketch on the top plane and it's not going to go into the two-dimensional uh, view like you saw in SOLIDWORKS and you're just going to click the corner rectangle target the origin click and drag at this point you're going to click the dimension tool or the letter D which is right here and you're going to click an edge and drop down the number just like in SOLIDWORKS press enter we're going to do a 5x5 five five cube just like we did we're going to keep this the same and simple and at this point you're going to say okay with the green check. So now we have a simple cube if you right or a simple square if you right click it you can orbit around you can see that it's on the top plane it's in the origin uh, bottom left corner and it's labeled sketch one. If you click the eye you can hide it if you click the eye again you can reveal it. So with sketch one selected we're going to select the extrude button and it's already been pre-selected pre so all you have to do is put in a 5 for its depth and then I press tab to kind of look at the preview. Uh, right click and drag, kind of look at it. Um, obviously this is a simple cube, but you would want to inspect your features before you would commit by clicking check and we have a cube. So the only thing that's left is to figure out which corner we're going to cut by to make it consistent. And so in the upper right hand corner you can see we can click at the front. We can drag to the look at the right, the left. We can click the isometric corner and at this point we know the way we're looking at that's the left side this is the front if we rotate by clicking uh, the right mouse button and dragging we can click the isometric corner here where the front is facing this direction which is the way we would normally show this and then the right is to the right so the top vertex right here that I have selected is going to be the point where we're going to create the two and a half by two and a half square and then we're going to cut it two and a half down now this is a little different with extrude cut as SOLIDWORKS has a specific feature called extrude cut. We are going to create another sketch on the top plane of the part and we're going to do a two point rectangle like before by selecting its vertex, clicking and releasing and then we're going to go and grab the dimension tool and we're going to click the edge 2.5 and then 2.5 Oops, sorry, 2.5. And now our sketch is complete. We're going to commit by clicking OK. And now we have sketch 2. So we're going to use that to extrude cut. So I'm going to click extrude. It's going to say what sketch. We're going to select sketch extrude. I'm sorry, sketch 2. And then at the top here, we have new, add, remove, and intersect. We're going to select remove. And it's automatically going to position the arrow downward. And we're going to type in 2.5. And this is just like extrude cut in SOLIDWORKS, except it's just called remove instead of extrude cut. At this point, this model is done, just like we would have it completed in SOLIDWORKS. And the next video I'm going to kind of detail is how we're going to create a drawing of this, just like we would create a drawing in SOLIDWORKS. Now, I don't like looking at the planes anymore at this point, because I kind of understand that the planes are where they are. So I'm just going to click the eye of all of the planes to hide them. And as you can see, our part is the way we would have drawn it in SOLIDWORKS where we have the front here, the right, 
and then the top. If you right click on these, you can, I believe, select appearances. And it was somewhere. I don't know why I can't see it. But you can go ahead and play around with colors and appearances and things like that. And if you want it to go as far as, yeah, edit, edit appearance at the bottom. And I can select the top. And then I can select the color if I wanted. Um, I could select faces. You should be able to select faces. But you can select, you know, various colors and whatnot. Um, if you're interested, but that's not necessary at this point and there'll be a specific video related to that. So if this is completed, I want you to screen capture. Um, I'm going to try to do this here with um, light shot. I'm going to drag. Now if you have Windows snipping tool at home or Chrome screen capture, that's fine as well. Um, you're going to make sure that you have this included and obviously your model included so that when you talk about this with your lab report, you can kind of explain how this was done and uh, what the differences were um, between SolidWorks and this. And I would say, you know, use your reaction statements. I wouldn't say it has to be exact, but um, I'd like you to obviously acknowledge that there are differences, but they're not significant. And I think it's actually a little bit easier. So at this point, you are all set. And um, hopefully this worked out for you.